Hey there, Christopher Westfall here. Want to bring you an update. Um, this is quite compelling and insightful. This is uh, Clark Howard, who I've followed for many, many years. Clark Howard had millions of listeners to his nationally syndicated radio pro uh, program, now a podcast, who was helping seniors to navigate financial topics, to avoid getting ripped off, uh, travel deals, tips on how to buy things, and really a consumer advocate that never himself advocated or tried to sell one thing. Unlike Dave Ramsey, who tries to pitch his courses and sell them through churches, Clark Howard has never had anything for sale. He's only told the truth. And today, I'm bringing you what Clark Howard has had to say recently, which has opened a lot of eyeballs out there about Medicare Advantage. Uh, take a look. Today, I today, have I not have one, one, but two, but two special, special warnings for you. The first deals with Medicare and something that has been so confusing to people when they are approaching the age of Medicare eligibility, 65. And I also want to talk about an alarming trend in mortgages. Now, this is interesting because Clark Howard himself is 66 years old. So he just went through his initial election period last year, turning 65. And this was kind of an eye opener, especially for a consumer advocate as strongly willed as Clark Howard. And here's his take, and my opinion along with it, about Medicare Advantage as it pertains to the difference between Medicare Advantage versus Medigap or Medicare Supplement. That is the program, Medigap Medicare Supplement, that 90% of agents that are walking up to you and talking to you about Medicare will curiously never bring up. Agents today are trained never to talk about Medicare Supplement as an option anymore. They only push Medicare Advantage because the money with Medicare Advantage is more than double when you get somebody new to Medicare. So listen to Clark Howard in his own words repeat what I've been saying for the last six years. Are you yourself or the person approaching age 65? I want you to have a heads up warning. When you are generally about four months out from turning 65, you will have a blizzard of traditional mail show up. I mean, like in the mailbox from what are known as Advantage plans, which are generally a disadvantage plan for you. Traditional Medicare allows you to seek care where you wish for the conditions that you might have. But if you go into a Medicare Advantage plan, as a new federal report finds, repeatedly people are denied care. And now, if you've not yet seen that Medicare Advantage report from the Office of Inspector General at Health and Human Services, I really recommend you watching that video on this YouTube channel. The only one that brought it to you first that talks about the routine denials of care with Medicare Advantage. That's what Clark's talking about. Whether he's a subscriber to my channel or not, I don't know, but that's what he's talking about. It's been absolutely documented now that denial of care is the modus operandi of Advantage. Plans. And it's costing people their lives and their health. Uh, Medicare Advantage plans were dreamt up as a way to reduce government spending on health care on the elderly but it's had a double effect because the big insurance companies that, that push these Medicare Advantage plans so hard <laughs> and the commission salespeople who make a lot of money for getting initial enrollments of people at age yes, 65 into these Advantage plans, everybody's pushing you into them because the insurance companies are making a ton on these Advantage plans. And how are they making a ton? From denial of care. That's the whole game. Now, this is Clark Howard giving his opinion, and I'm giving my opinion on Clark Howard, but it's not just opinion. That is a conclusion, which I encourage you to read the entire study, which you can find on my video, from the Inspector General said, the reason why these denials of care are routine is because that is the profit differential. That's what it is. It's profit driven. So that's not just his opinion, that is actually the fact, based on the is experts. That, that as somebody gets older, we got more things wrong with us, we spend more time uh, dealing with conditions, chronic and otherwise, and if you can delay, 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 deny, 
as an insurer, you're not spending that money. So you lose the freedom you have with traditional Medicare. We just had this brought up last week. We had a person who was on a Plan G, and because of health conditions, they're getting rate increases and could not move their Plan G Medigap plan, Medicare supplement plan. And they said, well, maybe this year I'll just go to one of the free plans. And that's my concern in this area is as you're getting older, things tend to break down more often, not less often. And as health deteriorates, that's when the, the secrets of Medicare Advantage become available to you. They, they manifest themselves when you see the strength or the weakness of the actual coverage that you have. And that's what the, the sad thing is when people are 65, not knowing they're giving up their one and only opportunity as a golden ticket to get Medicare supplement, any plan, Medicare Advantage, any plan. And they give that up for one opportunity to get on an Advantage plan without knowing you may never be able to get a Medicare supplement plan again. Traditional Medicare is complicated because you have Part A, you have Part B, you have supplements you have part D and you're gonna to have to pay all these premiums for B your supplement and D and so people are like hey this Advantage plan looks great I don't have to pay any monthly premiums in many cases and supposedly I'm taken care of every possible way what could go wrong well the people who should go in an Advantage plan are people who cannot afford to pay the premiums because you're on a tight, 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 tight budget and you have to accept the choice of less choice in your health care and denial of care is part of what you get and that's who should consider these disadvantaged plans, known as advantage plans. On the other hand, if you can afford the premiums for Part B and Part D and to buy your Medigap and you'll be paying money every month for that and then you have true comprehensive real medical coverage as you age through your 60s 70s 80s and beyond if you can afford to pay those premiums go in traditional Medicare do not do not do not fall for the propaganda of the disadvantaged plans Remember that word. Every time you see one of those bright, colorful mailers that show up in your mailbox that say Advantage, remember to put D-I-S in front of it in your mind so that you don't get swindled by the insurers that don't care about your health, don't care about your life, and just want your money. Krista, are you ready for the response from the big health insurers? to that I'm not worried okay yeah I can tell you what that response is going to be I was at an industry conference recently and a colleague uh, that is a competitor in the industry pulled me aside and he said I love what you're doing for seniors you're helping them but you're too loud at what you're saying so what do you mean he said you cannot call out the negativity of the industry he literally said you can't have anything negative going out there and it's not negative it's truth there's a difference between being negative all the time, which I'm not, and being truthful in telling the truth. And if there's just one lone voice in the wilderness calling out, telling you, wait, there's more to the story. It's not just all a free ride once you sign your name to a free plan and that agent happily walks away skipping down your driveway. There's more to the story than that. And I don't care if I'm the only one left or just a handful of us left online telling the truth. I've only been licensed for 26 years now, but I'm getting the hang of it. I've seen thousands of stories of how this has decimated people's lives. Not just the insured, but their family who has to yell and advocate and scream and appeal, appeal, appeal and get denied and then finally pay for things out of their pocket. Because if something is denied in Medicare Advantage and your appeals have exhausted themselves, the only choice then is for you to pay 100% out of your pocket. You don't still get the Medicare discount on outpatient services being paid for at 80% by Medicare. You are out of that system when you sign up for Medicare Advantage. It's just the truth. My agency helps people with Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and telling the truth so that you have a clear understanding 
of all the options that are available to you specific to your zip code. That's what my office does and would be happy to do for you or anyone you love that is struggling with their Medicare insurance right now. Please give us a call. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.